Hey, took out the motor, put everything all back together again. Uh, all in a matter of uh, probably about an hour. Um, took the motor out, found that there was still a couple spots that were hitting. So everything's running better. I just fired it up. We do get to use the uh, amp gauge. It is a proper one to use. See if we can focus in on the amp meter. There we go. We're gonna fire this puppy up, and I can fire it up from standing away. Slow ramp up actually is working pretty good. Sounds like a jet engine gonna take off. Kind of got some some harmonics there. Um, There's a high RPM motor. Do not try this with your uh, series wound DC motor. You will blow the crap out of it. Here. Just a normal slow throttle. Uh, it'll only won't even hit 200 amps. Drop it back, throttle it all the way up, and then it'll jump up. Then it jumps up to almost 400 amps. We'll show you here. So normal. Just easy throttle will be less than 200 amps, no load, um, and just flying. Then I'll let off the throttle and then throttle it back on. And when it kicks back on, this thing's going to jump all the way up to 400 and even faster speed. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening here, uh, but I'm going to give this, this uh, little demo to uh, Kelly Control to see what they think. So just a normal... 
throttle. Back off. Back on. Bam. We're not sure. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, it's not kicking off anymore, like it did a, a, a minute ago. You have to watch out too. I can go a little too high on therm on uh, RPM here. This is 72 volts, and uh, it does work. Uh, so I got everything hooked up correctly. Um, Turn that flywheel right up, no problem. Holding throttle. We'll have to do some uh, very slow ramp up. Now what we need to do is we need to rig up a brake switch. Let's see if um, see if we can get any regenerative braking out of this thing. Um, let's see if we can do this with um, in a bench test mode to see if we can show that there's any regenerative braking. Um, Sweetness has arrived uh, with using the 72 volts so I can get the motor up fast. Um, I put a brake switch. I'm using a PB6 that doesn't work too well. And I'm just using it as a regular switch uh, for the brake switch for uh, kicking in regen. The uh, regen function I have at a 20% of 20% amperage of what I've got in the in the car. So 20 20% um, regen mode is basically what it is, and um, it's also 20% field um, amperage for for driving. And so I have everything turned on. I have uh, throttle. I have the PB6, which is now my regen brake function. And you'll be able to hear and see, hopefully you can see. Uh, we're going to spin this up and then uh, going to hit the brake to slow the motor back down again. So I'm going to, I'm going to redo this and increase the um, field. See what happens here. So anyway, this is a this is a test here. It's going to go to Kelly Controls, and uh, we're going to let them know that this part at least works. So run the motor up. Going to run it up good and quick. Back off on that, and then hit my throttle, and you can hear it go down. Um, at the very end here, where you hear it kind of rattle a little bit, that's when regen stops. So regen does not go down to zero, but at least it goes down, slows the car down considerably um, beforehand. So this is just a bench test, but at least regen is working. And that's a very positive note. Um, the little motor gets hot, but I did leave it sit on, not realizing I left it on. 
and uh, it was uh, the way I had the settings it was creeping a little bit of amperage into the field while I was gone and just heated that puppy up so we're going to try and let it cool down a little bit but um, these motors do require uh, quite a bit of forced air because they're really tiny motors and the, the casing heats up really fast and no internal fan either so anyway here goes again we're just going to run it up fast break so this is how that's how quick it stops with the regen that's just letting it slow down on its own so again I'll do speed up and regen speed up regen so now I'm going to change the function see if we can increase the uh, regen capabilities off the contactor off the circuit breaker um, back to the computer Okay, so unhook this, gonna cycle the controller, turn that back on. So now check the breaker, contactor, the computer and the controller decide that everything's okay and I've got a good go. So now I'm up to 50% uh, regen. So let's see what this does. I'm just going to change the entire field to the motor itself, not just to regen. Again, contact is off, circuit breaker off, plug in the computer. I'm at 52% current. So switch again, circuit breaker, switch, computer takeover. Oh, see now, when I do the field, it automatically turns. It's already putting power to this thing, and I don't even have my throttle on. So, I'm not exactly sure how the hell to deal with this. So, this is going to be something I'm going to tell Kelly. So, without even the throttle on, I've got power to this thing. So, 
but I can still run it. Not something I like. So, contactors off. off. So we're going to go back down to that field mode. But the field mode, you can't leave it set turned on if you have field function enabled. Because it's actually feeding power to the field. So we have to deal with that. So we're going to Way back down to 20. We'll finish. And again, we're back where we were. So unplug the computer, cycle the computer. Contact circuit breaker, contactor, throttle on the computer. Controller says I'm good. So there is power actually going into that field because I have field function on. I can turn the field function off, but it also turns regen off. Got to have the field on in order to get regenerative braking. So there we go. That does pretty good. Happy with a 50%. At least, at least on the bench, anyway. Have it. 